this demo, we are looking at a tremolo pedal that has eight modes, which allows you to mix in reverb or chorus or even go crazy with a bit of ring modulation. Introducing Cattle Inbred Tremolate. We've got a typically intuitive layout. We've got, for me anyway, the all important mix knob. Big fan of that. The rate and the tone at the top are fairly self-explanatory. And then you've got this space knob, which allows you to mix in like reverb and chorus, depending on which of these programs you're on. So without further ado, let's check out eight riffs and eight modes. So let's start things off with program number one, which is sine wave. Here's my clean tone. <laughs> And I'm going to be boosting that every now and again with the Cattle and Bread Epoch boost as well just to add a little bit more grit. So first example is Crimson and Clover by Tommy James and the Shondells. Really cool tune. boost program number two is a sine wave again but this time with a longer reverb trail so we have reverb adds a tremendous amount to this tone. I'm going to go for Arctic Monkeys for the next example. Only ones who know. Just take the epoch boost off. And with it on again. Now, program three, you've already heard, but this is a square wave, and I use that for the Smiths as soon as now. And the rate's only at about one o'clock there. with it up full. Super quick, isn't it? Gets even faster later though. Program number four is a sawtooth wave, which um, the volume rises slowly and then drops off, right? So with the rate set low, you get this kind of. <laughs> it just, it disappears and then comes back. You know, almost like a little volume swell, isn't it? After it, after it cuts off. But then crank up the rate. Get a bit of a flutter going on and at that setting I really like it for Riders of the Storm. Program 
program number five may be my favourite. It's called Showman Harmonic, which is modelled after a, like a 1960s Fender Showman Harmonic vibrato, right? And it's got a very, very rhythmic sweep. <laughs> That's getting right into kind of phasery, pulsy territory, isn't it? And if I add some gain from the Catlin Bread tribute, lovely. I like that for "I Took Your Name" by REM. <laughs> Number six is sine wave with chorus. So the space knob actually dials in the uh, blend of chorus. Here's it without. <laughs> Is it with? Really nice, isn't it? I really like this for Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know. two programs are a little bit more whimsical. We have Envelope uh, at number seven. So the rate gets governed there by the signal strength. <laughs> so if you play softer, you get a slower rate. Dig in and you get super quick rate, right, right? Which is really cool because what happens when you just leave a note ring out? As it's dying, it's getting slower and slower. A little bit like the effect that you get in Radiohead's Bones, right? Number eight is Ring Mod. And I've just cranked the rate up there. Down at 12. Which is cool, right? I mean, I'm sure that someone will find a use for that. But I really like it up full. The reason I really like it up full is this tune. Right, Wishlist by Pearl Jam. Because in the solo, which goes something... Something like that, with overdrive, you get this. It adds a really lo-fi grittiness over the top, doesn't it? enjoyed this one I'm going to play you out with uh, program five that showman harmonic it's just lush and I'm going to play some more of that arctic monkeys tune just because it's rad see you soon <laughs>